to Cloudy with a Chance of Sprinkles. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite staple baking tools. Um, nothing specific to cake sickles, cakes, or things like that. Just in general things that I like to have um, around. So they prove to be very, very helpful in my baking process. Uh, so let's begin. Blue Betty. Yes, I did name my stand mixer. This is Blue Betty. She is a must. She is necessary. Now, do you need to get the fancy KitchenAid that's really expensive? No, there's a lot of stand mixers out there. Fiberware has one. Um, there's some other brands as well that have some, uh, but it's nice to just be able to step away and let it do the whisking um, when you're whipping up like meringue or something. Just to be able to walk away while it does its thing um, is really, really nice. Also, it, it saves your wrists because there's a lot of mixing that we do in baking. So, absolutely love it. Um, honestly, going off for up, people sell theirs all the time because people, the amount of people that buy these that don't use them is insane. So, go on offer up or let go or whatever and probably find one for a decent price. But, most definitely worth it. I also have a couple of these bowls. So, when I'm making recipes that require a few different things, I have a couple different bowls um, so that I don't have to wash it each time or if something's still in it, I can still use my other bowl. I probably need a third bowl at this point, but that is how important Betty is. Okay, it's Blue Betty. Um, and then bowls, speaking of bowls, got a couple of these stainless steel bowls um, and then just bowls in general. So I love, gotta be rainbow, rainbow mini bowls. Um, I put my sprinkles in here all the time when I'm in the sprinkle stuff. I put my chocolate melting wafers in here when I melt them to make cake sickles. Um, I use these for so much, even like small amounts of buttercream. These bowls are perfect. I have another set of like rainbow mini bowls and half of them are in the dishwasher for making a rainbow cake yesterday. Um, so they are a must. I use them constantly. Um, and then my next favorite kind of bowls to use are glass bowls. I just prefer them. They've got weight so they don't mix around or move around, <laughs> move around on the counter when you're mixing with them. Um, and they scrape up really nicely. They clean really nicely. Um, you know, you can get like a whisk in there and it's not going to like scratch it all up. Like sometimes I've seen plastic bowls that just don't look good over the years. And these will most definitely last the test of time. Um, I love them. They're nice. These are by Pyrex, but really any glass bowl will totally work. Um, and then to do the mixing, spatulas, rubber spatulas, silicone, rubber, I don't know what these are, um, but they are perfect. So I've got mini spatulas I like to use with my mini bowls when I'm mixing small amounts of buttercream or chocolate or anything like that. I have these in every color, but again, they are in the dishwasher because I made a large mess in the kitchen yesterday. Um, and then you've got bigger ones. So I love this one. The brand at the bottom says Trudeau. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's like there's sprinkles in it. It's so freaking cute. But um, I like this one for making macarons. I don't like the wood bottom for making macarons because my hand doesn't like holding it. Um, but the ones that are like silicone all throughout are so nice. Uh, the ones with like the wooden bottom totally fine when I'm like just scraping a bowl with a cake mix in it. Um, there's so many fun little designs and stuff. And then like you got a plastic handle. This is by Farberware. And this is another Hobby Lobby find. <laughs> I love Hobby Lobby. Uh, but yeah, just the rubber spatulas. They like get the nicks and crannies. I don't like the ones that have like weird things in the middle. Here, I'm going to show you what I mean because you're going to be like, what are you talking about, Jackie? Okay, these ones, like, I've had these forever. I don't like that there because then when you go to like scrape it off in the bowl, you don't get to scrape off everything. Whereas if it's a flat one, you could scrape off everything into the bowl, not lose any product. So these ones, not my favorite. I make eggs with this, but these I'm big with. Very important, it matters. Moving down the assembly line of fun things, we have chocolate melting wafers. Um, these are just my vanilla white ones. I like to use Merkin's chocolate. Uh, I think it just tastes so much better. But the candy melts that you can get at craft stores, like Hobby Lobby Michaels, those work as well. And also, I wasn't planning on mentioning these, but these little um, airtight containers are a must. 
I just got them recently from Costco. Ooh, the chocolate smells so good. Um, but they are super duper nice. They keep it super fresh because when I open like a like a five pound, twenty five, yeah, it's a five pound bag of um, chocolate, then I can put it in here so that it stays nice and fresh. So yeah, melting chocolate. Um, I have it. I like to buy it pre-colored, but I also have white because I use white a lot, and I do have some food coloring that will color that. So yeah. Um, and then we have where to store things. Okay, these, you guys, these are a lifesaver. These are from the container store, um, and you can purchase online. And they are literal perfection because when I first started, I was making sugar cookies. And you don't want to stack sugar cookies that you just decorated because then you're going to ruin your decoration. You got to wait for them to dry. And so, and I still don't like stacking them even after that. And cake cycles, you don't want to stack because then you're going to get chocolate on the other one and it's going to mess up the design. So, I needed something flat to like lay everything out on but still be a Tupperware. And so, I found these. They are perfection. I'm not going to lie. I haven't been able to find them since. If I do find them on the website, I will link it for you guys. Um, but any kind of just more of like a flat um, little tuppy is perfect. It fits the cake sickles perfectly. It fits cookies perfectly. Um, and I've got like four of them and I wish I had 17 of them. They are the perfect thing for like small treats that you're decorating. Um, love, love, love. This might, this might be my second most essential thing right next to Blue Betty. And that's saying something. It's Tupperware, guys. Uh, so yeah, love those. Absolutely must. And then we have our turntable. Oh, oh, oh. This is my, my non-stick mat, or my stick mat? Stick mat. Sticky mat, uh, non-slip mat to keep the cake boards on here. But the turntable is perfect, of course, for cake decorating. Um, and even like for not cake decorating, for cupcakes, I'll just put a round of cupcakes on here. I'll do a swirl, I'll turn it, do a swirl, turn it, do a swirl, turn it. Uh, so it's kind of nice to have. Um, again, mine's a Teco. Wilton has like some plastic ones that are a lot cheaper, uh, especially if you're first starting out. That is what I started out with. Um, this one just turns nicely, it just stays turned. So I love it. <laughs> but any turntable will do as long as it does the turning motion. Um, I think that is pretty important in cake decorating. It will make your life a lot easier. I have tried to decorate a cake without getting out my turntable because I was that lazy. Um, and then all of a sudden I wasn't lazy anymore and I needed that really, really badly because <laughs> it makes such a big difference. Uh, so those are some of my favorites, but of course I could not <laughs> do this video without mentioning Sprangles! They are essential, okay? These are essential baking accessories, right? Um, Sweet Apolita, you guys know, is my favorite. Um, I just love sprinkles. I don't know. I'm just here to show you my cool sprinkles. You've seen them. I take videos every time I do a sprinkle haul. But yeah, sprinkles are necessary. It's super fun, even if they're just tiny, tiny bit. Um, fun fact, I don't even like eating sprinkles. I will take them off of whatever it is that I'm eating. But I think they look pretty and they're just super fun. Um, and who wouldn't like sprinkles? And I think a lot of people like a crunch to things. I'm not a crunchy person, but I know a lot of people are. And so they like sprinkles. So sprinkles are a must. Sweet Palita, absolutely love Sweet Palita. And Sweet Palita on their website just now added that they are selling Color Mill food coloring with that and color mode food coloring colors chocolate and pretty much everything except for macaron batter um and so that's pretty cool because food coloring is also a must but i didn't pull down my food coloring thing um leave a comment below if you want to see more tools something specific to cakes cake sickles or anything like that let me know thank you for hanging out and watching and seeing all my beautiful tools let me know if you think i should name them all or if it's weird that i even named one of them and I will see you guys next time on Cloudy with a Chance of Sprinkles.